episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT, Dynamite the Explosive One, TNT, and the I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T. What up, Jonas? Wow, that was beautiful. I can get beautiful sometimes. <laughs> when you get all made up. Yeah, dude. Uh-huh. I clean up nice. <laughs> Sure do. <laughs> Thanks. I see you get all ready to go out downtown. I'm like, who is this man? No, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I love it when me and Jonas don't let our uh, fragile male masculinity take over and we can just compliment each other. <laughs> yeah, Jonas, yeah. you've got nice legs. Oh, why, thanks, sir. I hate that? them. <laughs> and I'm still just as straight <laughs> right. and masculine as I was before. I'm like, TNT, they're just, I, I don't know what you see in them because they're just <laughs> awful. Don't, when you say it with that accent, though. What accent? <laughs> you, you don't that? talk like that That's how I talk That is not how you talk <laughs> Like you're putting on for the show As soon as you put the mic down You're like oh my god Can you believe it <laughs> I hate putting this act on Every time we do a podcast I wish I could just be myself on the podcast <laughs> You never talk like that to me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining us today. Whether you're watching us on our YouTube channel under Crazy Time Media, so you can subscribe there, or your uh, Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, all that stuff. This guy, he's on Twitch every day. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock Central AM. That's TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town. Start your day off right with some dynamite in your life. <laughs> I do every day. Yeah, boy. Um, So, the world's happening out there. It is, man. It's happening. Um, so, I don't want to get right into gloom and doom. Man. You don't want to get to... All right, Jonas. I got a little one for you. All right, let's go. All right, Jonas. A new... This... See, now, I'm... This, what day is it today? Like, uh... When is this coming out? No, like, what day are we... Re- what day is it right now? It's like the 8th, the 9th? Uh, no. Today is the 12th. A, okay, fine. Well, a new sensation is sweeping the nation, Jonas. Is it the Lord? It's Glizzy's, Jonas. Glizzy's? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Jonas, so like this weekend, I think maybe you should uh have a barbecue, pop a couple Glizzy's on I the should... grill. Wait, 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 get, wait. Get you a nice fat Glizzy, throat that some bee, <laughs> get, it, get it deep in your mouth. I, wait, I got to have a barbecue to have this happen? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you got to have. I'm, usually not doing, you, you, I'm not doing that right now. Usually you have Glizzy's with other people. Uh, I mean, you can have a Glizzy by yourself. I ain't going right. to judge you. All right. You know, you just put that some be as deep in your throat as you can. Yeah. You take a you taste it. You can smell it too. Uh huh. You can put condiments on it if you want. It's however you want to do it. You see the way I got my hand. Yeah, yeah, I do. And you put it in your mouth like this, Jonas. Yeah. And the juice, it'll start running down your is down, deep throat. Something <laughs> down and your chin. Down. It just sounds, I mean, it sounds like something else. But you can go ahead. All right. So Glizzy's is a DC term for hot dogs. This is why all goddamn week that hot dogs have been coming up. I'm like, I'm using glizzies on the podcast. And we have been talking about hot dogs all week. We found out that a tube steak is hot dog. Yeah, like I've never re- like like you always hear people say tube steak to reference like a penis is like in like a crude way. But I didn't realize that like and I'm a meat guy. Like I eat a lot of like beef and chicken and also like, I never in a million years looked up tube steak and I did and it was like, yeah, hot dog or sausage. And I'm like F. Well, Jonas, the times have changed, and now you throat in a glizzy. You a glizzy ga- gladiator. You're a glizzy gobbler. Oh, you're a glizzy. So, so the hot dog eating guys, they're they're downing glizzies oh, like crazy. Dude. What's his name? The Nathan's guy. Yeah, the Joey Chestnut. Joey Chestnut. He, he is a glizzy gladiator, dude. He is guzzling glizzies and gaggling <laughs> them with no gag reflex. He's- Gagging on glizzies. <laughs> He's gagging on. He ain't gagging just, on glizzies. Like I watched it, and his face was so red. You could see the veins just like popping out of his. Oh, I didn't watch it. Like, while he's just like ham fisting. Oh yeah, they take fucking two, glizzy down his throat. Yeah, he's they just, take two glizzies and they literally like use like your teeth as like a wood chopper, and you just uh, go ding, 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 as and, as it goes down your throat. No, dude, that's gross. Yeah, but you know what, dude. What if, like, that's how you could make a living and you'd make a lot of money? That dude probably has tons of money. Uh, <laughs> and and all tons. you gotta do is one, one time a year show up on a stage and put jam glizzies down your throat, What did that make? What do you make? You think it maybe like 50, 50 Yeah, but that dude... Would What's, that be worth 50K to you? What? 
that ain't a, that ain't enough to make that, it the year. That is more than a lot of people make in a year for for what is it? Ten minutes of work. Yeah, but that ain't a lot of money though. <laughs> yeah, but if you only <laughs> but like think, think of it this of way: say you did four contests a year for fifty thousand dollars a piece, you're nah. making you're making two hundred k a year. To work for 40 minutes a year. I think he's probably banking under triple digits a year doing doing glizzy eating contests. But he, yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know. It, it, yeah, I don't think it would be worth it. I would. He has to be making six figures. All right, that's it. Joey Chestnut, pull up your taxes, man. We need to see it. <laughs> we need to see it. Um, TNT Dynamite. He's got some endorsement deals. Like Nathan should have that dude's um, face on his package. No. <laughs> Because when I watch him eating glizzies, dude, I don't want to just like, oh man, I can really go for a fucking hot talk right now. Watching this dude sweat, <laughs> sweat all over his fucking neck and chest, <laughs> and he's just throating this fucking phallic tube meat product down. I'm like, that makes me never want to eat another hot dog again. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> and those dude, those hot dog buns are gross. It just shows his face with his fucking sweat, like like, uh, and it just says Nathan's. It, yeah, you just gotta have it. him like ham fisting. No, two you... two glizzies, and his eyes are big, and his face is red. <laughs> you need to see how bad he looks. And when he's uh, yeah, ridiculous. Dude. Look it up, man. Oh, I'm sure he always looks hit, dude. If you were forcing <laughs> that much, food... I'm not going that far. <laughs> he's a nice looking man. <laughs> but when you're, ja you, it's hard to look like a nice looking man when you're jamming it's... glizzies down your throat, dude. <laughs> you're just like he always looks hit. Oh, no, no not. Like... I mean, while he's while he's throating glizzies, dude, <laughs> at church. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I don't know what he looks like in real life. I know when he's throating glizzies, <laughs> he looks hit. Just saying. All right, glizzies is done now. Jonah started. I like it. <laughs> so, um, all right, I was gonna talk about some coronavirus stuff. But I really, you know what? I think everybody knows what's up. I just actually, the what I want to, what I want to talk to you about is, so a lot of things are opening back up. Like Disney World is opening back up. <laughs> Disneyland. See the line? <laughs> oh, dude! I well, this is kind of what I want to talk about. There was a video of a, some lady who was being a streamer. Her, she's older. She has to be like in her fifties, and like her two younger daughters are probably in their thirties. Walking through Disney wearing masks, literally going, yeah, we were in the medical tent yesterday. Robin here, she was in there violently vomiting. She, her blood pressure was 177 over 130. She's got a sore throat, this, that, the other, and da, 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 da. And, like, they're at fucking Disney World, wandering around. Like, you should, in the video, the lady goes, da, 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 and she says super sick at one point, and this dude is walking by them. He rubbernecks so hard when he hears her say so sick, it, you would have thought he broke his fucking neck. He was literally just like, Rrr! like, and she's like, and then at the very end of the video, she goes, she would not be here if she had coronavirus, and then the, the, the girl who's supposedly the sick one, right before the video cuts off, you hear her go, or even if I had one symptom of coronavirus. And and I was like, bitch, you got like every symptom of coronavirus. But yeah, and people were like recording the line. And like, and the, the one girl was like, look at this, dude. Is <laughs> she was this. like, she was like, there's no look distancing. She's like, there's Disney employees out here and no one is, no one is doing anything. I love it, Joe. This <laughs> no, but that's not, but that, that was like, I just saw no, the video but... and I was like, yeah, this yeah. is this is why things happen because people are sick whether it's coronavirus or a cold even if you have a sore throat you shouldn't be at disney world man well, you should, why the fuck are you at disney world anyway fuck disney world well right it ain't yeah. worth your life like you so you so hard up to get some mickey mouse you got yeah <laughs> but um I, that's all of fist shaking i'm gonna oh do, yeah though. yeah but anyways <laughs> so yeah that that's all about that part but um I, in the comments, I saw two things in the comments on that thread on Reddit that really kind of sparked something to me, and I wanted to talk about that on the podcast. That's where I was going with this. One, somebody said, I used to have disbelief in zombie movies that the guy who got bit would never tell his friends until yeah. the very last minute until I've seen coronavirus. And I'm like... I'm not telling anybody if I get bit. Like, it's like, so it's like you have it and you like pretend you're not sick as long as you can pretend you're not sick. <laughs> So you can still go and do shit. Yeah, because you can still be a benefit. You can still have fun. Yeah, right. Except for... I mean, there's dudes out there hitting and telling girls they don't have herpes. 
I mean that it's the same thing. It, it, like, and it's funny because this isn't an STD. And girls too. Yeah, for right, that abso- matter. Oh, absolutely. Thanks a lot, Sabrina. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think the thing that uh, it's like coronavirus is the is kind of the first thing all anyone in our lifetime that has experienced that is probably the closest thing to an STD that isn't an STD. <laughs> It, I get. I guess it's the full on STD experience because because everyone is getting to experience the the like because you're like who have you been around who are you interacting yeah. with who have you like are is it is it is it ethical to not tell someone if I'm feeling <laughs> sim- you know it's like it's <laughs> it is kind of but it's like a, it's it's more of an STD experience because it's like with an STD at least you can choose. You know, like I don't have to fuck her. Right, 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 right. Like, or I, I can, can like I can do other things that like yeah. Does yeah. she have a hypodermic needle in her arm? Hmm. I right. see bags under the eyes. Hmm. It doesn't smell like she hasn't changed her clothes in a couple of days. I'm probably not gonna fuck her. Right, right. And then this is just like you just go and like I I need yeah. some chicken to cook, and you go to the grocery store, and the cashier's hiding her C19, yeah. and like yeah. This is this is more like going to a like a orgy. Just outside, like everybody, as soon as you walk outside, you're butt naked in a bottle of lube, in a bathtub full of lube with the entire community. (laughs) Kind of, (laughs) yeah. So you just better make sure that you put a Jimmy hat on. Yeah. So when I read that, I was like, oh my God, because in the video, I'm like, why would these people not give these people a heads up if they got bit by a zombie? And I'm like, they don't care. I get it. I don't think you tell either, to be honest, though. I if I here's my thing if I had a cold I would stay home. Yeah, but if you got bit by a zombie. Oh, oh. Well, here's the thing. It's like I don't know if it's like you know the end is coming. Yeah. And you want to be productive until you're it's, not. Exactly. That's or what it is. You're like maybe I won't turn. Maybe it won't happen to Yo, me. Yo, that's definitely in the back of your mind. <laughs> that's 100%. Maybe I'll be okay. It's like one of those things it's like uh well, I could tell everybody, and they're just gonna, it's gonna worry everybody. It's gonna detract away from that. So if I tell people I have Corona, it's gonna give them that. Um, I can still get some stuff done before maybe I, I turn or before I'm contagious. That's the thought of mine. Yeah. 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 Um, and plus, I don't wanna die, you know? Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, it's like the stages of grief, kinda, when it comes yeah. to getting coronavirus. Yeah, and I think so. Well, yeah. Well, I think um, one thing that, this is the, there's there's one main point I want to get to and we have time uh, that I haven't touched on yet, but I think part of what's happening right now in the country is because like it's been long we've been in like an isolation long enough that um your what whatever your life was in March is not your life now right like you can't do the same things you were doing. So I think people are having trouble and are trying are in the process of mourning their former life. <laughs> mourning, uh, uh, yeah. Because you're like, oh my god, I used to go out all the time. I had so much fun with my friends, and like the realizations are starting to hit that like my life is not going to be the same for a while. Yeah, that's facts. And it's like it's like stages of grief and shit. Like it really is. Like it because you deny it at first because yeah. you're like. Shit'll be cool. I'm good. Whatever. But like, it's fine. I can just. And then when you start having the realization of like, oh, they opened it up. I could go back out to the bar. Oh wait, things are getting worse again. They're gonna sh- wait. Is my life as I know it over? And I gotta figure out a new <laughs> way to live. I, no, my yeah, old life. I got you. And it's, then I so I have to figure out a new way to live my life. It's like some people. That's a really hard pill to swallow. Absolutely, man. And it's definitely a cross between that uh, that shattered sense of uh, like normalcy and. Like I was saying, people treating the coronavirus virus like it's roaches. Like the first okay. time you see a roach in your apartment, that is, it's World War Three. We had that moment where we first got it, it was World War Three. We were like, we got to call the Orkin man. We got to get your hand on putting bait out traps. Yeah, but by month three, you're like, okay, that's a roach. I get it. And you just kill it. You know, you just kill the roaches. Dude, by month four, you're like, hey, yo, you're feeding the roaches. Right, right. You're <laughs> like the yeah. like little little Bobby Sue's up on your lap. You're yeah. like, hey, buddy, you yeah, that, really got some dirt over her. <laughs> right, and there's Daryl. He, he likes the bathroom. He likes the yeah. bathroom. Yeah. I leave him a cup of crumbs. Yeah, you, you turn on an old PC that you don't use just so they can get in there and nest yeah. and stuff, now, you know? Now people are just like, we're going to live with it now. And it, you know, <laughs> it's, it's sad. But it is what it is, man. A human gonna do what a human gonna do. Oh, absolutely. 
Okay, now here's the point I want to make <laughs> about this is completely – this is reference to, like, Disney and, like, even, like, when they're talking about, um, like, um, <laughs> like, Harvard has announced that in the fall that they're going to do classes online, but the cost is the same. Disney, you go only, – only part of – you can only get part of the experience. Mm -hmm. Why are people okay – with paying full price <laughs> for half the experience. <laughs> like, not only is it dangerous to go out and be out in a pandemic and go to Disney, but you're paying full price for not even half the experience. Uh, well, I want to comment on the fact that I love the way we front load the podcast with tangents. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful. Uh, I think... It is because they are offering you the service of safety, at least when it comes to Disney, because they got to deep clean way more often than they would normally. With Harvard College, yo, know, I don't know. I probably it's like you want to graduate from there because it's like it's some real. It's shit. Harvard, yeah, yeah, it's some real shit. It looks good on whatever uh, <laughs> resume you put it on, but yeah, I don't know. That's kind of nuts. If you're only offering online classes, I mean, I guess everybody there needs to work and they're used to a certain way of life. And if they're not making as much money, you got to take that away from some department, but maybe janitorial and anybody else. Right. Well, but I mean, like you got to think about it. Anything that's hands on. Yeah. Like you're not spending money on that. You're not your biology department is not getting tons of like animals to do ex not experience, but like um dissections and you know all that sort of so you're not paying yeah. all that money for that equipment and that stuff and like yeah. and they're getting it, but you know that's a lot of jobs too that are getting lost in that case so yeah. i don't i don't know i'd have to see where they're putting the money right to be honest like if they're putting it in the pockets of the workers who they have to furlough then that's one thing yeah but i don't necessarily feel it should come from the kids tuition like as well the, uh... I don't think like that's the, the case either, you know. But it's like, yeah, it's just like, and it's it's crazy because you know, it's like, I, I, and I think part of it is people are s just so want to go back to normal that that's that's where why they're okay with paying full price for half the experience because they're like, if I can get a, a small taste of normalcy, <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> like, dude, I also went. Oh, I was looking online today. I saw Disney put out a video about Disney World. It's like their old like their old their old uh be our guest type video, you know, they're like showing around the park and all the stuff, but like everyone they are showing like is wearing a mask and it shows them like cleaning tables and like wiping yeah. off signs and I was like it, what the what I think the what the headline was like this like uh they said this Disney reopening video looks like a bad uh, coronavirus satire. <laughs> it's just like a bunch of people wearing masks and like they're just like like a map of like you are here and they're like scrubbing it down. Like yo, Jonas, I really want to go and see like the Disney princesses that walk around in masks. But they showed them on the float without masks. Oh, so they're getting... in that video. Everyone had a mask, but the princesses on the floats, no mask. It might have been it might have been stock video, but I, you know, like they do have them walking around the park. I want to see them walking around the park with their mask. I want to see Gaston with a mask on. I want to see it. So Mickey bad. Mouse with a mask well, on. They would make him wear one. They make the guy in his neck through the great in his neck wear one. But like what? But I think what they should do is the big suits. Put a big old fake mask on Mickey because then it like <laughs> it helps promote like people love Mickey. Do they do what Mickey does? <laughs> Right? <laughs> you know what, Jonas? If it fucking helps do it, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, it, um... <laughs> let's go. It, like, let's yeah. put it a just, mask uh, on Mickey. It's just, I, yeah, it's just, like... I would just rather wait and, and pay for the experience I want than... Mm. Yeah, well. I mean, I guess, but I guess I'm, I'm also, like... One person. <laughs> well, I'm one person, and, like, I personally... My my choice is to put my own safety above an experience <laughs> that may not be as safe as whatever. But other people, I mean, it's all about your risk profile, man. Like, yeah, like I say, man, if you want to go to Disney World, go to Disney World. I told right. you I'm gonna take you there now. Going we're going, dude. I wouldn't go to Disney World if it were free. I'm not going. <laughs> Just because of the pandemic or because of uh... no, no. I'm saying at any point in time in my well, you know, well. Before, after I've turned like 24, I was like, yeah, I'm good on Disney World. Yeah. Have you ever been? No. I've never been either. I, well, I don't, what the fuck for? <laughs> what? I, don't. I know what a Disney character is. Yeah. Walt Disney was a, a, an anti-Semite. It's documented. <laughs> 
I'm sure he just felt real great about black folk. Let's go toss some money in his fucking dead pocket. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I, but you know, any, anyone you try to talk to about Disney will defend it to get yeah, for, like you're like, dude, I don't get why why I need to go to Disney, and they're like, but listen, there's really stuff there for the adults. So there's a lot of fun things to do. Yeah, but who cares? I can do fun things in my room with a with a dirty sock. Listen, Jonas, I'm not immune though. That was a masturbation joke. Just in case <laughs> I got you it. it. Okay, fair enough. I got um, it, dude. I'm not immune. I have a favorite Disney character. Do you? Yes. Who is it? Definitely Eeyore. Definitely. Is Winnie the Pooh Disney? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. A thousand percent? Yes. All right. We'll verify this. It's not, we will after. Because I don't think Winnie the Pooh is Disney. Um, yes. They bought him. Oh, oh, he's not an original, but he's no, like, not original. He's like uh, he by marriage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's they, like an in law. Got him through the divorce. <laughs> the divorce of their bank. Account. Why do you like Eeyore so much? Uh, because he reminds me of myself. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. I'm I'm such a basic bitch, and it's funny because like I remember like a lot of girls in the, in the, uh, in the uh, Ashtabula trailer park used to wear those big big Eeyore shirts. That were like too long. And it oh, like, like the nighty dude. It was yeah, like and you'd be like, night. "Are you wearing pants?" And then you're like, "Hey, she has jean shorts on." But yeah, Eeyore. Why is that a thing? <laughs> and Tweety Bird. The bitches love Tweety and Bird. And Tasmanian Devil, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Tweety Bird, Eeyore, Taz. But the Taz is like the guy. Tweety Bird is yeah. a woman. Oh yeah, you. Because <laughs> you never see like together. a dude wearing a Tweety Bird shirt. No. I forgot no. Tweety Bird existed until you just said that. It's been so long since I thought about I just it. remember like the thugged out Tweety Bird shirts. You like, I saw this tall putty tag. Yeah. You know, well, no, what I, what I meant was not the character so much, but why do people wear like shirts so long that it looks like you're not wearing pants because you have on short shorts? If you're wearing oh. short shorts, why do you? Why are you wearing a long yeah, shirt? I don't know. I don't know if they think it's hot. Or when something. I wear short shorts, <laughs> I make sure I put on a belly shirt. <laughs> her, her boyfriend told her it looked good. So yeah, she was crop like, top and Daisy Dukes <laughs> is my daily. Who who do you like from Disney, Jones? Who's your, you, shit, shit. Aladdin. There we see, but you know you like them. I guess. You know you... you if know. There, well, if Robin one, Williams genie. If there's one Disney movie that I can could probably still watch today, it would be Aladdin. Other than that, I don't ever watch anything Disney. Hold on. So, Robin Williams genie. Amazing. Yes. Yeah. You're you going to tell me Jafar that, was even good. Uh, Lion King? Yeah, that would Lion probably King be the second. That would probably be the second one I might be able to still Yo, watch. I, I'm not gonna sit up here in front like I don't fuck with Disney, but like they got some good. They got oh, some I don't bands. hate on it. I just it's not for me. All right. Like I just like I think what they put out, some of the stuff they put out is amazing. It 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 enchants children's lives. Like children love it. Like people get a lot of value. A lot of it is pretty wholesome stuff. Like it's like it's all cutesy. Like I get it. I get it. I get it. It's just not my jam, dude. Nah. Like, I can't do it. No, it, it's definitely dying down a little bit. But, I mean, they do do the Marvel movies. So, you going to dress up like Aladdin for uh, Halloween? <laughs> not like Trudeau. You're not going to do the Trudeau? I'm not going to Trudeau it, dude. <laughs> I want you to Trudeau it. Trudeau Trudeau, dude? Trudeau to Trudeau. Uh, no, I'm good. Right. So, uh, but, you know, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, uh, this guy, he's on uh, Twitch. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock Central. A-M-T-N-T-D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. Sweat all over my chest. <laughs> for Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are out.